it's hot, man. You know, we just dropped that in the studio. Me and Will was working with it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. We just kind of came up with it. We just kind of like smashed on it, man. Like, it's just real thing. Like, money talk bullshit walk. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you see some of the hard work and shit nigga be doing. You know what I'm Already, man. I seen some of y'all work on one of your videos, man, how you was making all those uh, drawings, Earl Lacker, you know, Jason Kidd, and, you know, Lil Will, Baby, and Lil Wayne, and you see some poses of yourself with that uh, MSR thing, man. What, you know, how long you been drawing, man? See, that art and that sketch work, man, I've been, like, shit, doing that art and that sketch work, like, man, shit, high school, you know what I'm saying, nigga went to Thomas Jefferson High School in North Dallas, man, so, you know, I've been doing that shit so long, I just... It's like I had those dreams and pictures, man. Like, nigga, did this wall? Yeah. I did all this shit. Like, they probably woke up with a dream or something. You know what I'm yeah. Like, it's all a part of, like, artwork and shit that we do, man. It's artists, man, and shit that we got to do. That's what's up. So not only are you an artist, you uh, you rap, you're an entrepreneur, you're CEO of your own music label, you do hair, you know what I'm saying? Man, you're a man of all changes, man. What you know? Where do you get your blessings and your talents from? Well, I know the blessings may come from the Lord, but how do you get all this talent, man? Shit, really, man, you know, from the Lord, blessing, man. Really. That's, yeah. that's, that's the only way it came, you know, so. Because what it is, it's meant to reach, like, like many different styles of people, like, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, like, when I do art, Artists been for like art, artistic people, man. Artists, beautiful people. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. Like, when I do like cars and rims, cars and rims and like street, that's for like the street people. You know? Yeah, yeah. Street so people. different strokes for different folks. It's on the music. The music for like people that sit at home, like loners and people that don't really like to know how to get out and do things. Yeah. That's what makes me like music. I can just do the music. So you try to reach all the. All the uh, audience out there, you know what I'm saying? You got yeah. something for everybody. The music, the yeah. art, the basketball. Well, the, the basketball coming for the youngsters, the mm -hmm. ones that want to get the cradle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the Statue of Liberty, they want to yeah. get the shot. You know what I'm saying? That's for the, that's for the like, the high school kids in the basketball. Even the whole school. We got a guy on our team, like, that nigga 48? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you know what I'm saying? So you don't discriminate with the age. age. You can't let age slow you down. Yeah. You know Whatever. I'm going to my age right now, but right now my crossover man is put us in Dallas right now. Already. I'm in Mr. Dallas. You see on the videos, I'm in South Dallas doing it. Already, so already. Doing that, so it's like all my trades together. It's like when people see what I do, it's like everything is legal. You know what I'm saying? It may take longer to do legal, put the right way, but... It's gonna be done. Well, I see you had uh, hooked up some guys. You was training, uh, Mr. NBA champ. You did some things with with uh, with uh with 720, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Earl up there. You know what I'm saying? You can work with a lot of guys. And uh, you just did a, a, a shot with a guy that played for the uh, NBA with, uh, in your little deal I had did the MSR All Stars. Who was that guy? Oh, that was uh, uh, which game? Which game? He came out to Chicago or with the tall guy that was dunking. I forgot his name. Man, what's that big? That's all shit. We done had so many guys. You talking about um, was that PAT? Uh, it was the Mike Wilson or somebody. It was MSR with the. Uh, oh, Tony Mitchell. Tony Mitchell, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tony Mitchell. Yeah, Tony Mitchell. He played at uh, North Texas. Me and Tony Mitchell, man, was just like we was balling. Overtime game. Me and Tony Mitchell. I was shooting the three. I had got the rebound. He had blocked the shot, and I had got the rebound right. And the nigga threw it to him. The nigga windmill it in the game. I'm just like, it's just like. Hey, <laughs> <he> just, <laughs> You know, in the, niggas in the, these are NBA niggas. Yeah, yeah. These rap niggas, man. Yeah. yeah up, damn, I forgot about the rap shit, but these yeah. rap niggas ain't fuck with me. Now man. the NBA Even shit. Even if they try, man. I just do this shit. When I do it, I just do it for real. I wake up yeah. and do it. I don't yeah. like this. Try to, try to like. Pretend that you're doing yeah, some shit. This, this is life. But I do practice. And I practice 24 hours a day. Sometimes you can fuck with me, nigga. Put a hundred million on any nigga in the game. And let's go ahead. I ain't doing it. Hey. One thing I'm trying to say, when a nigga champion or athlete be doing something, is he doing the shit out of angry or is he happy doing the shit? Yeah. I'm in your mind, cuz. Already. Well, you heard it from the horse's mouth itself, Mr. Dallas, a.k.a. T.C. the Great, a.k.a. Pimping all time, paper in my pocket. Hey, we're going to get at you. This your boy, Mr. Black. We closing out. D-Town represent. <laughs>